Well, y'all, we are all loaded up and I can't wait for you to see the haul. Hey y'all, good morning and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Beth and we are on a thrifting adventure today. Y'all, restoration thrift, I have been in here twice. I did my $10 challenge in here and another shop along and I just saw on Facebook that they have everything in the store $1. So I literally got dressed as fast as I could and drove down to Rosenberg. So come on y'all, let's go in and see what they have left. Okay, here is one of the milk glass ones i don't know if this is the one that katie wants or not but yeah we will check it out there are the cherry boxes and i think miss jerry wanted the cherry boxes but we'll have to see looks like a whole bunch of stuff has been moved around and a bunch of stuff has been sold so we'll see what we can find y'all I looked at this a whole bunch of times. I like this little pot too. Oh, there's the egg. Remember the egg that I showed y'all in the first video? That's super cool. I think I have to get the egg this time. I'm totally forgetting to film for y'all um, because I am just trying to get so many of the goodies. Remember I had one of these, uh, a set of these similar, it's purple flowers though, for the, um, for the button florets. I don't know what you call it, y'all, where we made the assemblages with Tammy and Miss Martha. got all of the um, uranium glass. That's pretty cool. And somebody picked up the cadmium uh, Last Supper tray, too. But I think I want this. These are cute. They're modern, but they're really super cute. There's some crazy in them, though. Would these be in a jar, Tammy? These would be super cute in a little jar. I love that. It's really pretty, but it's way too big for me. I just, I definitely wouldn't ship something that big. Now, this piece is still here but I don't know that that piece is gonna be a dollar. Spoon, New York World Fair. Oh, I've gotta get that. A bunch of records. Plush. Oh, this is Dory. She's cute. And here's a Mickey, but his nose is missing. There's two Dories. whole bunch more stuff out here and I'm just going to kind of look around oh look this is a little night bite that's cute dog. I am 
ones. I like these. Here's another apron. Bag of random ephemera. So you know what? I say we pick it up. You can look through it later. Must be some cookbooks and stuff. I saw these last time. And remember, I really like them. But this one is, it doesn't have a make or a model, but I really like these. I think they're gonna be a dollar each. I like those. But I did find this and a whole bunch of other stuff, y'all. I'm just not able to show you, just not able to show you because I am looking and it's getting pretty busy in here. Cold syrup. And I can't tell. I think this is Anchor Hawking. Is it Anchor Hawking or Hazel Atlas? It's Hazel Atlas. That's pretty cool. I like that. This. Do you have a Dipsy Doodle? That's pretty cool, right? Well, y'all, we are all loaded up, and I can't wait for you to see the haul. You protect your thrift finds. I spent $41. Before I leave, I'm going to take a sneak peek at the furniture. Not that I need any furniture. Now, furniture is not um, a dollar, but look how darling these little kitchen sets are. Oh, I don't know if I need those, but I think I might. I love the desk. The desk is awesome. It's only $10. Now here's this table that I've been looking at, but um, it's down to $5. It's a little big and um, it has some gapping right here. So we're gonna leave that this time. Okay, y'all, so it is the next day and boy, do I have a haul for you. I am super stoked to show you all of the things that I got at the Restoration Thrift. Now, as you saw in the video, Restoration Thrift sadly is closing and they had posted on Facebook that yesterday, today, and tomorrow, everything would be a dollar, but I couldn't wait. I needed to go then. So as you saw, it was like, just put on clothes, brush your teeth and go. And that's what I did, but y'all, it was amazing. Now, I went to look for a couple of things and there was a lady who got there right before me and she had all the uranium glass. She also had my cherry bottle that I really, really wanted that you saw in the last video. And I will link the video for um, the $10 challenge above and the other time that I visited Restoration Thrift. They were super, super nice and I'm really sad that their business is um, closing. But let me show you what I got. Now, one of the first things that I kind of saw that was still there was this old rusty soil testing kit. Now, I did have someone see this kit in my $10 challenge and ask me about it. Um, and so I wanted to see if I could get it. I was thinking about getting it anyway, but now I have someone that is interested in it. Uh, it was marked $20, but their store was closing and all things, well, almost all things were $1. I did have uh, a couple of things that she bundled for me so that they wouldn't all be $1. And I'll tell you about a piece that I broke up a set. But let's look inside of this because I hear something in there and let's just pray. It's not something that's going to jump out at me. So this says Sudbury Garden Soil Tester tells you how to grow amazing flowers, vegetables, lawns, and it's from Massachusetts. I was just in Boston on my cruise. Okay. Oh, look how cool this is. Okay. So there is some magazine that is stuck up here. And I don't know, I do have some undo, so I may be able to get that off. I don't know, I may ask if, if it sells to the person who wanted it, I may ask if they want me to try, but it looks like there is a book, How to Increase Crop Yield and Improve Quality Soil Testing. Now, it's probably been eaten up a little bit. Um, it looks like it probably got some chemical or something on there. Um, let's see, a business reply, that's really cool. 
was trying to find a date on there, but I couldn't. Now in here, this is 100 circles. Now I don't know what the 100 circles are, but let's see if we can, do y'all know what that is? Open this box. Huh. So all of my gardening people, what are these 100 circles? It's like a paper, like a paper filter or a circle, but it looks like it is completely full. So I'm gonna stick those back down in there somehow. Also in here, water, nitrogen, mm, number six, I don't know what that is. And, oh, there's, oh no, the cap was just on. Uh, number four, this looks like a phosphorus. Number six was potash. I know nothing about this. And then there's a number seven. So I have a four, six, and seven. Oh, here's a two. So I have two, four, six, and seven. I have the little bottles and then a bottle of water. I also have a little funnel. And I have one, two, three, four. These are glass five, six, seven, eight. There are eight glass tubes in there. That's pretty good that they're not broken. And then here is the potash test. I don't know. Potash is the third figure in the formula shown on every bag or package of commercial fertilizer. Well, now we know. And then the lime test. Colors shown on charts are guidelines and may not exactly match fluid test. So all of that was in this box, which I think is pretty, pretty cool. Now I am gonna give first dibs to the person who emailed me about it, um, but if they are not interested in it, um, once they see the condition, um, then I will bring this to either my booth or a live sale. But this is a pretty cool little kit. So I did get that one. Let's move that out of the way. And then y'all, I got a whole box and a whole bag. I can't believe, I can't believe that I ended up with these. So this is the Yankee Doodle game. You can see the price that it was marked. And I looked at these several times. Um, and look at all of the letters. Now, I don't know how to play Yankee Doodle, but I'm gonna go through this. Series number one, Henry. If this is he, blank, make the most of it, and $3. So I don't know how to play this, but there's some little card holders. There's a bunch of little cards in here. And I know Patrick, the trusty huckster mercantile, he loves new vintage games. Here is Yankee Doodle, the game, and these are the series this is series one so i'll have to do some investigation in this there are some cardboard pieces red and blue but what i really love oh i may take these apart if they're not all there look at these little letters because these little letters can be used on crafts to spell out things i know mary at reclaim treasures by mary um, makes beautiful bingo cards and i bet she would love those so I'm going to check. Here is the instructions on how to play. Um, but I don't know if all the pieces are there. If all the pieces are not there, I will actually part this out. I will sell the box and I will sell the pieces um, because people may not want the whole game, but they may want the pieces. But I didn't get one. Nope, I got two. Now this box is in much better shape only because there's a little bit of paper tearing right there. Now this one is more vibrant, but this one is in better shape. Now this one was marked 25. So I'm thinking that this one may have, oh yeah, it has far more pieces in there. Oh, it has far more. Um, now this says series one as well. So what I'm gonna do is look through these instructions and again i may be able to make one full game um, i don't know anything about the game actually but i do know that i love the graphics on this box the box made me think of mimi's treasure cottage cindy loves vintage boxes and i actually got a couple of more in here but i thought these were great y'all um, and even if i piece them out 
They were only a dollar each. It was a great deal. All right, let me show you the boxes because if Cindy is watching, she will love these. Now, I did have someone ask me about several of these boxes and I didn't get all of them because there is a little bit of damage to each one. Originally, so, they had a $10 price tag, but on the front is a $4 price tag. These are the Brock Cherry boxes um, and I just thought the graphics on these were absolutely fabulous. <gasps> And look, y'all, it's still got the little wrapper pieces in there. Now, that is cool. Now, the same person who asked me about the soil kit is the one that asked me about the cherry boxes. Um, I'm going to have to do some comping of these boxes. Brock's chocolate covered. Oh, these are the chocolate covered. Do you like chocolate covered cherries? I'm not, I don't like it when the, when you bite into them and the juice just runs out. If they could just not have as much juice or the cream chocolate covered cherries, those are really good. Leave me a comment below if you like chocolate covered cherries. But the Brock's chocolate covered Morningside cherries, uh, the graphics on this, look at this. And I have the undo. I can get that off without tearing up the box. But look at the graphics on that, y'all. This is amazing. All right. Here is another Brox. Now this one was also marked 10 and then marked five. Maybe this one is older. Um, I like the graphics and the condition of the other one a little bit better. There is nothing inside of this one. Um, this one I might use like maybe as an add-on or something. Now it's probably older, but you can see the wear on this box. Um, then I did get the old time made Fanny Farmer candies. Um, this was one pound. I remember my mom loving Fanny Farmer mints. Um, and so I did get these. This is, I'm looking for, oh, I love the, the Statue of Liberty here. And there is the homestead. Maybe that's Fanny Farmer's homestead. Again, these were marked 10 and then marked down to seven. Um, but this is a really great little box as well. Now there is some damage right here. Um, it kind of looks like something either chewed on it, to be honest, or um, that somebody set something on top of it. But look at Fanny. So I did get all of those boxes. This is a great time to talk about the joys of thrifting like this as a reseller because you do need to comp these. Um, and I do have two booths. Um, that are vintage spaces in two different areas. So to buy low and sell at the average selling cost is the name of the game. Um, and so these will make really great display pieces in my booths or some things for live sales. Now I did get these, I think this says Bake Oven USA. Now, if you know anything about this, let me know. Now I went back and picked these up because my mom saw these in one of the videos and she said that she she believes my great grandmother had a blue pitcher with this emblem on it. Now, originally they were marked $10, which is one of the reasons that I left them because I think I saw them during my $10 challenge. I don't know. It looks like maybe they would have had a lid, but I also don't know if maybe they were a souffle, like for French onion dip where you don't want it to run over, but they may have had a lid. But I picked these up simply because we want to see if the emblem is the same for the pitcher that my great grandmother had. All right, what else did I get? Oh, I got a vintage um, ashtray. Now this one is from the Circle Motel in Fort Worth, Texas. Um, it says 7301 Highway 80 West at the Traffic Circle. That's the only address or any identifying mark on there, but I thought this was really great and it's no chips or cracks and I do know that people love the glass ashtrays. Two other things that I got, I couldn't pass them up because Dolores told me, look for the spoons. So this one I believe is of a place. Oh yeah, that's right. This is the World's Fair. I think this one is the World's Fair. Let me put my glasses on. And New York World's Fair, 1964, and it says Vatican Pavilion. So this is the New York's World's Fair Vatican Pavilion spoon. I thought that was really cool. I'm going to take my glasses off because of the glare, um, but I'm sure I'll need them again. And then this kind of looks like a tiki design 
on here. I don't know. What do y'all think? But I thought the spoon was really cool. And again, Dolores tells me all the time to pick up the spoons. I don't see like a 925 mark on it or anything, but I thought those were really cool. Those were the only two that I found. Now, this one I need to ask Katie, Vintage and Vinyl, about. This is a Galaxy um, milk glass, but it is the Industrial Labor Service, and it does only have the uh, seven digits. It doesn't have the area code on there, and it's printed on both sides. And I do need to ask Katie about this, but how cool would that be with some blue little things in there um, for red, white, and blue, or even at Christmas with, you know, a bottle brush tree in there. But I'm not sure if these were the ones that Katie was talking about, but I went ahead and picked it up. All right, another thing that I got, this is Hazel Atlas, I believe. Um, I think I looked at that in the store. It was marked $3, um, and this it is a syrup. It has and the plastic red top, and it is in great condition. So I did pick that up. Actually, the ashtray and the cup did not have a price tag on those. And then here's the thing that I broke up the set for. Do y'all remember seeing this in the video? Well, I have the cream and sugar. Um, and so I didn't really want the bowls or the plates. They just didn't have enough of them to um, make a set. But... I thought that I could use the gravy boat. This is the Luray. It's the blue pastel. And again, in my booth currently at Glenflora Emporium in Glenflora, Texas, I have the cream and sugar that matches this. So I thought that I would pick that up just to kind of have another piece. All right, now here is a piece that I have loved and looked at many times. And it was marked at $15. And look at the design of this. Y'all, this is absolutely beautiful. Um, it has a different kind of place right here. So I'm not sure. Do you think this was hand blown? Um, because it does have a pontal. Now it's pretty smooth, no mark or anything on there, but the outside of this is very smooth and then it has this little divot. But I love the way that it is folded over. I absolutely love the blue color. There's a little sharp piece right here, so it looks like it was touched together. But I don't know if they would have painted that on the inside. So if you know anything about this piece, let me know in the comments below. But look at the way that it's folded over. I just love it because it was blue and white. And I thought in the bathroom, um, putting some towels, like hand towels and things in there would be super cute. And it is pretty thin because you can actually, you can actually see through that. So this is a really great piece. Uh, I need to be careful with that one. <laughs> All right, um, then I picked up these. Now, uh, these were marked at $8. These have great gold gilding at the top, hand-painted little blue um, flowers and the salt and pepper shakers here. Um, and they does have a stopper that is stuck down in this one. And I don't know, yeah, there's a stopper in this one as well. But I thought these were absolutely beautiful. Now, I have some purple ones like this, but the gold is um, really worn off on those. And I thought these were really, really pretty. Those would be pretty in a 4th of July display as well. Some more salt and pepper shakers. I just had to get these. These were super, super cute. It is a snowman and a penguin. So I don't know, there's no mark or maker on these. I have no idea where they're from, but I thought these would be super cute, either sold as a set or bought individually for like a little tiered tray or something. So I thought this was cool. And I mean, the set was only a dollar. Okay, the last piece that I have in the box is, I went back and got it. The Easter egg, I swear this is an Easter egg. I don't think that it is a fairy lamp but I have not looked it up. It has the frosted glass, but the imprints on that is absolutely fabulous. And this somehow just made me think of D from Thrill of the Thrift. Now this was marked at $8. It's on both sides, but this just reminded me of D. I do think it's an Easter egg just because it has these divots in there and how pretty would be colored glass or one of the flickering different colored lights, but um, it's an actual really heavy piece of 
uh, glass, but I thought this was Darlin. And you can really see inside the design on that. No chips or cracks. All of her stuff was in fabulous condition. But I saw this probably the first time that I went in and I didn't purchase it, but I had to purchase it this time because I really, really liked it, y'all. Okay, now time for this big, heavy bag. And there's the story here. Okay, you could see at the top, all of these fabulous curlers. Now, Tammy, Vintage Uprising Texas, I know that she is a cosmetologist, she does hair, but look how cute all of these are. In a tall apothecary jar in her shop, these would be great. Now, I think there was a $6 tag in there, um, but look what else is in there. Some different colored combs. Um, I actually don't know what all is in here, to be honest but they have different kinds of curlers, different colors. Y'all, do you remember these? Oh, they had one more set of curlers that were the Velcro, but they were all pastel blue and white. And I thought these are fabulous to put in a shop um, or in a bathroom, y'all. This is just great. And um, there's even some of the, I don't know if you can see them, but right down here, there's even some of the curler clips. There's orange and blue ones. Ugh, just so many awesome ones. So I had to get it, right? I had to get this. I don't do hair and I don't collect curlers, but I figured it's too cool to pass up. Okay, y'all, I've taken a few things out of the bag because there's a lot of stuff in this bag. Now, just remember, I got all of this for just $41 and we're not done yet. So the next thing that I picked up was this big and busy, um, little workbook. It's it's a kind of like a school book for primary aged kiddos. And I was looking to see if it had any date on this. Oh gosh, there's Roman numerals on here, y'all. Let's see what it says. So it says 1950, 60, 70, 1966, in 1964. So we've got 1970 is the latest publication of this, but look at the really cute little pages. I love the big. Um, and I thought, honestly, I kind of thought, look at that. It gives you a, a color by number and you can be your own artist. But I thought I could actually use some of these. See, like these have marking on them, but there were so many of them that did not have any kind of marking that I thought I could use these for package toppers. I actually love, look at the poodle. <laughs> I love to use coloring books and old um, school books for um, use for colors. Let's color her four colors for package toppers. Oh, look, it's a jack-o'-lantern. It says a pumpkin is orange. Let me just give you a little tidbit. If it has a face, it's not a pumpkin. It's a jack-o'-lantern. Okay, so I thought this was really cool. And again, I got this for a dollar. So I that's just a teacher tool that I really like. Let me show you a couple of other things. Now, I'm gonna need your help with this, and I know that I'm gonna sound completely ignorant because I can't think of what it is right now, but I had to pick up this little dog. Had to, had to, had to, had to. It's a little felt dog. Now, on this side, he, had his little, he has his little eye. On this side, he does it, and it says IWA. So leave me in the comments below what IWA means. I'm sure it means something either political or school-wise, but I don't know what it is. So I loved his little drawn on face. And this side would be the side that I would use to display. Um, but he's pretty good size, y'all. And I thought this was really cool and I just couldn't pass him up. There was an apron. And of course I had to pick up the apron and it's red, white, and blue. I need to put this in my kitchen after I wash it. It says, my kitchen is off limits. <laughs> Look at that, my kitchen is off limits. It has the great double-sided pocket there. It is red and white. Um, I don't know if you would call that gingham, but it's red and white checked, like a screen print. 
this is super cute. So I definitely will have this available in a live sale. Something else that I found um, that I know people love to use for risers or for uh, assemblages is some tin tarts. Now these are the regular size tin tarts and it looks like um, there's a bunch in here. Uh, let's see, it looks like there's now, some of these are rusty, but you can also spray paint these. That's the new um, kind of trend with these. But it looks like I got two that are shaped like this. I got two of the regular mini tarts. I got, oh, this has got a mark on it. I don't know what that says. There's two of these. There are three three of these. And one thing I'm noticing is how thick the metal is. So I would probably wash these and possibly um, spray paint them. And then there are four of these. And it looks like there's, I guess, a little heart. See the little heart design or a little triangle? It looks like a little faint heart. There is three, there's six of these. So six, 10, 15, 17, so 19 of these. I got all 19 of the tin tarts for just $1. And these would be things that I would either um, sell as a lot or I would sell as add-ons, just in case somebody wants maybe one or two of these in the live sales. And I do have live sales every Thursday at 5 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Eastern here on my channel. So make sure to ring that notification bell so you never miss when I go live, have an uploaded video or a drop sale, which is a static or a pre-recorded sale. So I wouldn't want y'all to miss that because there's a lot of goodies that we are bringing, especially through our drop sale hot. Last three things that I'm going to share with you are big lots. Well, not big lots, but they are lots of things. And I may do a separate video or maybe just go live to kind of go through them because they're almost like a mystery. Um, so I saw this little bag and it is torn. Um, we were, we tore it when we were trying to um, get uh, all the things in and out because she really didn't know what was in there. And this is actually from uh, Scottsdale, Arizona. Now, who do we know that's in Scottsdale? I can't remember who's actually in Scottsdale. But in here, I'm just going to show you because we're going to go through this at a different time. She gave me a bundle price of $3 for this whole bag. And um, here is all the stuff that is in here. If we take a quick look, it looks like some, maybe a map, maybe uh, several cookbooks, um, some newspaper stuff. This is just some old newspaper with ads. Um, it's just a whole bunch of like book pages and stuff. But I thought this would be great for ephemera packs or little add-ons with the cookbooks as well. And we'll go through this at a different time. Another thing that she bundled for me were these little flags. These are very old paper flags from different universities. Um, and so I was going to kind of quickly go through these to show you the ones that I got. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with these yet because, quite honestly, I want to see if there are any of the ones that um, we want. Oh, gosh, some of these are kind of stuck together. Be careful. Okay, so I've got um, Mississippi State, and I'll probably sell these separately. If this is Swanee. Is that how you pronounce that, y'all? Put it phonetically if I mess that up, but these are pretty cool. Look at Louisiana State. That's really cool. Baylor. Here is SMU, which is Southern Methodist, I believe. Southern Methodist University. I love the red and blue color. Now, this one is a little torn up, but it is Texas Tech. And here is an old Miss. Here is the University of Arkansas, and this one is um, torn as well, but I think with a little bit of tape behind there, you could fix it. <gasps> Look at this one, it's Kentucky. Oh, love it. Okay, this is the University of Texas, so these are our Longhorns. This is Vanderbilt College. Texas Christian University, or TCU, home of the Horn Frogs. That's their mascot. 
I've got Texas A&M, y'all, and I can hear all of y'all saying, gig em. <laughs> And then look at this one. I love this one. This is Tulane. So I don't know if somebody collected these um, or if they were on a banner. It does look like they have pinhole pieces right here, but I got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, and we'll say 14, even though this one is a little messed up, but she charged me $5 for all of these. I think that was a really good price. Um, and I can't wait to see who is looking for what university. If you like what you're seeing so far, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And while you're clicking buttons, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Click that, it is free. It helps my channel grow and you'll be part of my YouTube family. Okay y'all, so the last thing that I got was all of the stuff in this bag. Now I did pay $10 for this bag. And so you can tell that she was giving me really great deals. This was a great, great, um, find and I'm so glad that I was scrolling through Facebook. But in this bag, it is absolutely chocked full of old maps. Now we will go through this at a later time too, um, but there's also some books in here. Here's a Houston Street Directory from 1949. I think this will do fabulously here um, in the Houston area. It says streets, subdivisions, building directory, reliable business firms, mileage to Texas towns with the map. It was a copyright of 1948. So this is really cool. Um, but also in there, let me just show you if it'll stay on my lap. I've got a Lincoln National Forest. Here's Arizona. I don't know the date on these. I would have to figure it, open them up and figure it out. Here's another Arizona. I got some Oklahoma, California. Arizona, look at this one, Arizona peeps. This is really, really cool. Look at that, and he's fly fishing. I think that's what he's doing. But y'all, I have a ton of stuff in here. This bag, literally, this bag is filled to here with all of this stuff. And I got it for just $10, y'all. I've already shown you three, four, five, six, seven, eight things that would normally be a dollar each. She gave me the whole thing for $10. So that's it, y'all. That's all I got in this haul. It was amazing, was it not? Again, I spent $41, $41 for everything that I showed you, plus tax. Um, but I do think it came out to like right at $41. And remember that $10 of that was um, the bag with all the maps and the books and things. $3 was all of the ephemera and $5 was all of the flags. So those three things alone are $18. And I believe that's $23 that I spent for all of the other things. So I think that I did really well. And a big shout out to Restoration Thrift. We have enjoyed shopping your store. Um, sad to see you go. And, and I really appreciate you letting us film in there, do my $10 challenge in there, which I did meet. And I look forward to them continuing to do great things in the community. So that's all that I have for you today, y'all. Make sure to leave me a comment below as to what your favorite item was, if you can even pick out one. And until next time, y'all stay pretty and be sweet. Bye-bye.